Hello and welcome to a new tutorial on denoising the Octane Shadow Pass in Blender. I'm going to start by opening a scene that I've been working on in the past. This is a sci-fi car that you've seen before if you've been following my channel. So I'm going to click and turn on the Octane Preview window. And you can see that it is working. And I'm going to quickly check the settings. Next thing I'm going to do is uh, look at the denoise passes, and you can see that we're missing a shadow pass, or I should say, we're missing a denoise shadow pass. I'm going to click over to the regular shadow pass, and you can tell that it is quite noisy. This was done on purpose so that we can amplify the noise value. So how do we fix this? And the best way to fix this is to use the Blender denoiser in the compositor. Let's take a look at the compositor or switch to compositor tab. I'm going to do a search for the denoise node and drop it into the node tree. So the node requires three input, image, normal, and albedo. You only need a normal image for the denoising process to work. But if you give it a normal pass or an albedo pass, it will try its best to preserve more information or more of the detail based on those two passes. In this case, we don't have any textures. We're just doing a shadow pass. So all we really need is just the normal pass. Let's take a look at the render passes. So we definitely want the shadow pass. I ended up activating all the denoiser pass, but keep in mind, this video is not about compositing. So you can just ignore what I just did with that. There are four normals that you can output. Because we have smoothing applied to our geometry, we only want to have the smooth normal pass. I've already had these passes activated previously, so you can see from the render layers node that the passes are all listed. I'm going to switch back to the shader tab and I'm going to render out the scene with all my new passes. Let's view the passes individually to make sure that everything's OK. What we want to make sure is that the normal passes was rendered out. And you can tell that the normal pass is important because it helps define the edges of the geometry, which is going to help us to prevent blurring or smoothing over those edges. I'm going to save the image to my desktop, but I'm going to use OpenEXR multi-layer so that I can keep everything in one file. Once I'm done saving the file, I'm going to save the scene and close it out. And then I'm going to start a brand new Blender scene. This new scene should not have any 3D content. It's only used for compositing. Here I'm going to save the scene. I'm going to activate Use Nodes and drag in my car render image. I'm also going to delete the render layer node since we are not rendering anything from the 3D scene. To show the image in the background, we need to drag our node setup output into a viewer node. On the image node, I'm going to change the layers to view layers so I can expose the octane shadow pass and also the normal pass. I'm going to plug these outputs into the viewer node just to see what I'm getting. Now I'm going to add the denoise node. 
So I'm going to stick the Octane Shadow into the Denoise node and just use that without using the normal pass. The result is that you can see that the image is denoised now, but there's some artifacts. Some details are missing and it doesn't look all that great. I'm going to use the normal pass now and plug it into the denoise node. And this should help improve things quite a bit because it's now defining where the geometric edges are and the denoiser knows what not to cross or smooth out. Now denoiser does a pretty good job, but keep in mind you still need a good amount of samples to make sure that the image is clean without any large artifacts. So it's really a balancing act between not going too low and not going too high. And that depends on the scene, depends on the project, and a bunch of test renders. I'm going to save out the final denoise shadow pass here. And if you have any questions, just ask in the comments below.